and welcome back to another in-depth character review and backstory. Today, as always, we are being joined by Mike from Mike's channel. He will be providing the in-depth character review and analysis of Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. He even went out of his way to provide us some 7-star Gear 11 Fulcrum footage. I, on the other hand, VGW, will be, will be providing you her backstory. But without further ado, let's get this started. Ahsoka Tano, codenamed Fulcrum, was a former Jedi Padawan and a rebel informant who provided missions and intelligence that supported the rebels in their fight against the Galactic Empire. To ensure the secrecy and security of Tano's identity, Hera Sindula was the only member of the Ghost Crew who made contact. Additionally, Fulcrum used scrambled audio and transmissions to disguise her voice. Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum has four attacks and abilities. The, the first one of these is her balance strike and this deals physical damage to target enemy. Uh, ability level seven, gain protection up 25% for two turns and grant protection up 25% to a random ally that doesn't have it for two turns. There's an Omega for this one and popping the Omega on boosts the damage and protection by both 15%, which equates to protection up 40% for two turns on both her, Ahsoka, and a random ally that doesn't have it for two turns. That really can be useful. Um, well, it, it's added protection, isn't it? I mean, what's not to like about it? It's worth chucking Omega on. Yeah, defo. Ahsoka Tana was discovered by the Jedi Order at the age of three by Jedi Master Plo Koon and taken to the temple to be trained. Having been born on the planet Shili, she was nearly enslaved by an imposter who intercepted the signal to the Jedi Order and who hoped to put her powers to use for his own ends. Fortunately, however, this scheme was thwarted and Ahsoka began her life as a Jedi. In her teenage years, she became a Padawan under the tutelage of Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker. She learned and served under him throughout the Clone Wars, forming a very close bond with him. Later in the Clone Wars, Ahsoka was framed for a bombing on the Jedi Temple by fellow Jedi Barriss Ophi. When she was captured, the Jedi Council expelled her from, from the Order so that she could receive a trial in the Republic courts. After she was acquitted, the real attacker having been exposed, she was invited back into the Order. However, Disillusioned with the Order and the Republic, she refused and left the Jedi behind. The second of Asaka Tano Fulcrum. You know what, I'm just going to call her Fats. Fulcrum Asaka Tano Zeta. All right, she's going to be Fats for here on because it's too much to say constantly. Her second ability is Meditate. At ability level 7... Ahsoka gains foresight and each non-unique buff, excluding taunt, present on other allies for two turns, then gains 15% turn meter for each buff on her. So basically she takes everything other than taunt uh, or, and non-uniques, um, the list of which eludes me as I say this. She takes them all on board and gets lots and lots of green. Um, this is prepping for her next ability, which we will come to. However, there is an Omega for her on here. So, uh, ability level 7, the cooldown on Meditate is 4. And popping the Omega on reduces that by 1. And she gains Retribution for 2 turns as well. Uh, again, I think all, all of her abilities are definitely worth investing. In the last weeks of the Clone Wars, approximately a year after she left, Ahsoka discovered the whereabouts of the former Sith Lord Maul, who had taken over Mandalore and gained leadership of the Death Watch. 
Shortly before establishing a siege, siege of Mandalore, Anakin and Obi-Wan were called back to Coruscant to save Chancellor Palpatine, who had been abducted by General Grievous. Unable to use the help of her former masters, Ahsoka was given the possession of her old lightsabers and the command of an army of clone troopers, led by Captain Rex. Unbeknownst to Ahsoka, this would be the last time she would ever see Anakin as a friend, before his horrible transformation into the dreaded Sith Lord, Darth Vader. Ahsoka and her allies then laid siege to Mandalore. After engaging in a lightsaber duel with Maul, Ahsoka managed to lure the former Sith into a plaza, where her comrades trapped him in a ray shield. Fancy's third ability, attack or ability, is Whirlwind. At ability level 7, she consumes all buffs on her and deals physical damage to target enemy. This attack scores additional hit for each type of buff consumed. This is awesome. This is the, this is the one that we're all interested in because effectively it gives her the potential to one hit pretty much any of the enemies obviously dictated by whether there's taunts up on whether she can target who you want or not um i must point out and i have actually done this in galactic war when i was trialing her if that if your target at ability level seven has foresight it foresight will negate the entire attack you won't hit anything all you'll do is remove foresight on that target. Worth noting, really worth noting. So, this is the ability that has an Omega. No, it doesn't. It has a Zeta. Does it have? Is World with the Zeta? I do believe. Yes, yes, it is. There we go. Just, just been radioed in, but no, I haven't. Uh, I just remembered. Okay, so Whirlwind, the Zeta, so that's 20 Zetas, 16 Omegas, because this isn't a lead ability, which makes her very interesting because she can use her Zeta in pretty much any squad that you want to put her in. When you put the Zeta on her, that changes things considerably. So, the blurb still is... Consume all buffs on Ahsoka and deal physical damage to target enemy. This attack scores an additional hit for each type of buff consumed. Here's the Zeta. The target can't, can't as in cannot, evade and has minus 50% armor against this attack. This is where she really will do your damage. Definitely worth investing the Zeta on Whirlwind. All the efforts of Ahsoka and her allies, however, were undone when Palpatine, who was actually the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, enacted Order 66, a devastating command that turned the clones against the Jedi and wiped out most of them, including Ahsoka's former mentor, Plo Koon. As a result, the clone troopers under Ahsoka's command turned on her, with the exception of Rex, who had previously removed his inhibitor chip, an inorganic brain implant that compelled each clone trooper to comply with Order 66. As a result, Maul escaped once again, but Ahsoka and Rex were able to escape as well after faking their own deaths. After fleeing Mandalore, Ahsoka went into the Outer Rim, first to the planet Thabeska and later to the moon of Rada. Under the alias of Ashla, Ahsoka befriended Caden Larte and made a life for herself in the farming community. Unfortunately, Imperial forces under Jeneth Pillar soon targeted the moon for their own purposes, leading to an Imperial occupation. Ahsoka and her new friends set about forming a resistance movement, but some of the farmers took too aggressive a stance and end up, ended up in a battle with the Imperials. As a result, Ahsoka was forced to employ her Jedi powers during a confrontation, which alerted an Inquisitor called the Sixth Brother to her presence on Rada. 
the fourth and last of Fat's attacks and abilities is Perseverance. And at uh, ability level 7, Ahsoka is immune to damage over time effects. At the end of each turn, Ahsoka dispels all debuffs on herself and loses 11% health for each debuff dispelled, then recovers 4% health for each buff on her. This health loss can't defeat Ahsoka. So, this... She's already immune to damage over time effects. Um, this is kind of great and also somewhat her Achilles heel. If she's stacked with a load of debuffs, she's going to remove them, but a cost of her health, which is going to make her more vulnerable. Um, you know, they have to put some bits in here, uh, and that's what they've done. So ability level 7, so that's just on purple mats, that's where she is. Again, she has an Omega, um, and on the Omega adds... 1% health gain minus 1% health loss and 30% critical avoidance now that makes a big big difference because obviously the critical avoidance just could save her as she's in her weakened state from clearing all these debuffs I'll read the blurb out for, for the complete bit so Ahsoka is immune to damage over time effects and gains 30% critical avoidance. At the end of each turn, Ahsoka dispels all debuffs on her and loses 10% health for each debuff dispelled, then recovers 5% health for each buff on her. This health loss can't defeat Ahsoka. Again, as I say, all the abilities are worth the Amigas and as and when you get the Zeta definitely that one because otherwise that is going to be so frustrating that you go you want to put it onto the target they've got foresight you've either got a switch or wait and run the risk of having all her buffs cleared by a a base or a ventress or a b2 or you know the list goes on and on or the nihilus so on and so forth so yeah timing is everything as they say Ahsoka dueled the Inquisitor, defeating him and causing his double-bladed lightsaber to explode, unintentionally killing him in the process. She, th she then took the kyber crystals from his lightsaber and used them to craft a pair of white lightsabers. With the assistance of Senator Bail Organa, Ahsoka evacuated the citizens of Rada and the two began organizing a formal rebellion against the Empire. Working under the codename Fulcrum, Ahsoka provided the Rebels of the Ghost with intelligence for missions in order to hit Imperial forces of interests, and those missions were part of a larger plan that the Rebels were part of. Only crew member Hera Sandula knew of both this plan and Fulcrum's identity. Because of all the secrecy, Sabine Wren, the crew's explosive expert, became curious and suspicious of who Fulcrum was, and on rare occasions, insisted on knowing the individual's identity to no avail. This made Sabine feel untrusted and wanted to know why the rebel missions were becoming so dangerous, but Hera assured her that the less she knew, the safer she would be if captured by the Empire. Sometime later, Fulcrum took former Imperial Information Officer Zebo into safe custody who had half of the Empire's secrets downloaded into a cybernetic implants, information that would prove useful in the Rebels' fight against the Empire. Despite the whole download, was an accident when Tzebo was actually looking for Im information on what happened to Ezra's parents. Sometime later, Ahsoka, as Fulcrum, informed Hera that Travis traveled the planet he mentioned in his messages. Facts. Where who who do you put her with? Where does she go? Um, I suppose the classic ones would be that she could go under rebel leads. So put her under a wedge lead. She's going to heal. She's going to have plus thirty percent offense. 
put her under if you've got a zeta gin lead she's going to gain protection up well she's going to gain protection five percent plus all the buffs there um she doesn't have to go under rebels um i've i've run her under a nihilus lead with sith assassin which i mean i'm thinking that if you're running a nihilus lead you're going to be running I would expect you to be running both of the uh, how do I put it and I, I'm just going to call them the no marks they, they're not actual characters they're a, t a type of character uh, this isn't me dissing them whatsoever I love Sif Assassin and I've come to love Sif Trooper as well they're both awesome in their own rights however they're not actual characters they're not a luke they're not an asako they're not a vader they don't have a name they have a generalization uh, but with those in there that enables uh, ahsoka to collect up all their buffs through her meditate and then deliver them in whirlwind and it can be well it, it is effective you know she's she's another she i will put her for different reasons into kind of like the nihilus boba sort of thing that she has uh she has a wonderful zeta on her it's not lead dependent which allows her to be moved around you can experiment with her in loads of different squads and you're gonna need the balance um you know you, you've got to factor in she's not going to be removing taunts unless she can one hit said taunter and so on but uh yeah yeah definitely definitely one to have there or thereabouts and i would advise investing into her thank you for watching when kanan was captured by the empire fulcrum contacted hera and dissuaded from her attempt in rescuing him after reminding her that kanan understood the risks and ezra the crew's remaining Jedi was too important to risk losing. Fulcrum informed her that the transmission they sent out had attracted a great deal of attention, not just from the citizens, but also from the highest levels of the Empire. Fulcrum urged Hera to take her crew into hiding to avoid further risks that would jeopardize their mission. Unfortunately, however, Hera was convinced by Ezra to continue to search for Kanan. During the mission to save Kanan from Mustafar, Chopper contacted Ahsoka for help when the rescue mission was going south. After the rebels saved Kanan from the Sovereign and were being chased by TIE fighters, Ahsoka arrived in the Ghost with Chopper in the stolen Imperial Freighter and three Alderaan cruisers to rescue them. Once in hyperspace, the rebels head over to the Ghost where Ahsoka reveals herself to them. She then tells the Rebels that Ezra's message has given hope to many people and that one chapter in Ezra's journey has closed and that it was a new beginning for the Rebellion. Now there is more to this backstory, but I want you guys to go out and go watch Star Wars Rebels if you haven't already. And also, check out the Clone Wars. You can find Ahsoka Tano in both series. They are very good series. But that being said, that is going to be the end of our in-depth character review and backstory. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We're sorry it's been over a week. Things have happened, but we want to come back with a bang. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. You got comments, suggestions, or anything else you want to mention, let us know in the comments below. But that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time. Enjoy yourself.